Hello viewers. The topic is ZIFT, Z-O-F-T-R, more common as infertility. But before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Now, infertility is a very huge topic, you know. Uh, but in my which uh, I will upload the multiple videos on the infertility which include the causes, the signs and symptoms, treatment options available, diagnosis, different uh, procedures or methods, you know, or different options, you know. But this video is just the introduction and uh, it's about the overview, you know. You know, infertility means uh, not being able to become pregnant within certain parameters you know and uh, it is a common problem of about 10 percent of women who are aged between 15 to 44 and uh, it can be due to the women problems which are 33 percent uh, the main problem which are 33 percent and uh, uh, both with the unknown problems you know 33% approximately, you know. Uh, <clears throat> now, the infertility in men uh, can be due to uh, varicocele, and, uh, uh, low or absent uh, sperm count, or, uh, sperm damage, and uh, many other diseases, you know. And the uh, risk factors for the men's infertility include like uh, alcoholism uh, like uh, and the drugs use and uh, like uh, smoking age and the underlying health conditions uh, medicines uh, radiations and chemotherapy so these are the risk factors you know and uh, the risk factors for the women's infertility include like uh, ovulation problems, uh, blocked fallopian tubes, uh, uterine fibroids, uh, other uterine problems, age, stress, uh, poor diet, uh, like athletic training, and uh, those uh, risk factors uh, for the men, you know, like uh, smoking or age or medication, then chemotherapy and. Uh, uh, like toxins you know uh, smoking you know now the age decreases a woman's infertility and after the age of 35 about 33 percent of the couples have fertility problems and uh, the older women's eggs are reduced in number and uh, not as healthy and uh, less likely to be uh, released by the ovary you know and the woman under the age of 35 uh, should try for a year or six months if uh, uh, six months if 35 are older to become pregnant you know before contacting their doctor if they uh, feel that they have some health problems you know and the doctors use uh, uh, the histories of the both parents and uh, uh, may run tests such as the sperm studies or ovulation tests and uh, uh, like ultrasound and uh, uh, hystero uh, salpingography you know or uh, laparoscopy so these are the different methods uh, which the doctors will use to uh, diagnose uh, uh, to pinpoint what is the cause of this in in infertility you know and then to focus on uh, uh, those grounds, you know. Now the infertility may be treated uh, with the medicines, with the surgery, uh, artificial insemination, or assisted reproductive technology uh, based on the couple's test results and uh, other factors, you know. And there are multiple medications uh, that may be used to treat the infertility in women. And uh, the intrauterine uh, insemination is uh, the artificial insemination where the woman is injected with the sperms into the uterus you know when they, where there is a kind of a, uh, abnormality you know
and uh, and most of the time this uh, in this case uh, uh, is where uh, there is a problem uh, with the main you know and uh, assisted reproductive technology uh, is uh, when uh, the woman's eggs are removed uh, mixed with the sperm to make embryos and then placed back into the woman's body in the uterus you know and uh, it's successful uh, about 11 to 39 percent uh, depending on the woman's age you know and there are several types of uh, assisted reproductive technologies uh, uh, like uh, in vitro uh, IVF, you know, which is known in vitro fertilization, you know, or uh, zygote transfer, or uh, uh, gamete transfer, and uh, intracycloplastic sperm injection, you know. So these are different uh, types of the assisted reproductive technology, you know, or techniques, you know. And uh, the other one is uh, the surrogacy. Surrogacy is uh, when the woman's uh, male partner sperm is used. To fertilize an other woman's egg and uh, that other woman carries the fetus to the term and the infant is then adopted is a way of some couples uh, obtain the baby you know and a gestational carrier uh, is a woman who has an embryo placed in her uterus uh, carries the fetus to the term and uh, gives a baby to the couple uh, that uh, produce the embryo. You know. So in that case, what happens? Uh, uh, the husband and wife's, uh, I mean, the sperms and eggs are used. They are fertilized, and then they are uh, implanted to the uterus of a carrier. So. Uh, this is the most uh, popular method for the people who the woman in case where the woman have some problem in the uh, uterus you know. so these are the different methods which are used uh, uh, to treat the infertility issues now thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.